Hi, it's another beautiful day for crafting. I have just the right design for sports fans. We will be making a baseball cap gift box. The download link is in the description. One Studio 3 file for Cameo, one SVG file for QuickCut. We need a SVG file for Design Space. Upload the file to Design Space. All the elements are in this file. The pink color indicates the box of the cap. Blue is for all the decorative panels. The biggest piece is for the box body. This piece with half hexagon top and round bottom is the base for the box. This is the decorative panel for the brim. Two pieces here to make the cap body. Six decorative panels match the cap body. The one with semicircle will match the back of the cap. Here are the brim of the cap. Baseball logo goes to the front of the cap. Two circles are for the top of the cap. Everything is attached. All we need to do is click make it. Come to the prepare pages. The first page is the baseball logo circle. We should be able to combine page 2 and 3 into one page. I'm just gonna move around the objects to fit. It looks good. Check no objects overlap each other. Here we have saved one page. Page 5 and 7 could combine into one page too. Here we've saved another page. Red parts for the baseball logo. All looking good. Click continue to cut. Keep the small cutout in a container. When peel off the decorative panels here, I have done it quickly. You can see the details aren't coming off well. It's not a big deal, just need to peel them off. Later I realized that put a spatula underneath the cutout and move along slowly. It actually peels off the details much better. It's kind of satisfying watching all the little bits come off. Here are all the cutouts. The biggest piece is the box body. This one is the base for the box. Two pieces for the cap body. The panel with the semicircle is the back of the cap. This is the brim for the cap. We have two decorative panels for the brims. The one with one line is for the box base. This one with two lines is the brim for the lid. Six decorative panels for the cap. The one with the semicircle will match the back panel.
the baseball logo for the front, two circles for the top of the cap. First thing we're gonna do is to put those small elements together. I have too much glue here, I'm gonna wipe it. These two basically just align. Make sure the smaller one is in the middle. And just pull it aside for now. We won't need them till the last step. Glue the decorative panels on the cap. Match the two semicircle pieces. Apply glue and align them. The way I design with all the details around is to make them look like sewing threads. It does take longer to cut, but these details certainly add nice touch to the cap. They are also here to make the cap stronger. Because it is a sphere shape, I feel one layer of cardstock isn't enough to support the structure. With two layers of cardstock and glue in between, it makes the cap sturdy and easier to open and close. Apply glue carefully. Make sure the tips of the panels have got glue as well. Clean any glue that spilled to the front. We have glued the panels for the cap. Put them aside to dry. Later, we will use a pen to curl the cap so we need them to be completely dry before we do that. Get the box piece. See all the folding lines are cut as dotted lines. Flip it over and fold along the lines. Fold all the pieces upward. The box is folded. Next is to glue it together. All the triangles are the glue tabs. Attach the triangle to the rectangle panel next to it, like this. Then fold the top rectangle down to cover the triangle tab. This way we have two layers to make the box stronger. Apply glue on the triangle tab. Glue it on. Check the side align well. Put glue here and fold down the top. Repeat the same step. These are the last two glue tabs. We will do them together, otherwise it might get trickier if you only left one in the end. I'm gonna bend this backward a bit, just make it easier to see. Make sure the side align well, like here slip out a bit, we just push it back. The box is done now. Attach it to the base. We will apply glue on the bottom of the box. Align three sides of the hexagon of the box and the base. Next, we'll take the we'll grab the brain piece. There are two for the brains. This one is for the lid, so 
the one with one line. I'll show you. One with one line and this one with two lines. The one with one line is for the box spring. We're just gonna glue this. The spring here should match the hexagon box perfectly. Just need to slide inch and then that's it. Give it a gentle tap. The base of the box is done. Now these two pieces are dry. We are going to assemble them together. We are going to use a pen to curl it. If they are not glued well, they might separate. So double check the tip of each panel is glued properly. Grab a pen and we will curl the panel, each panel. Back look like this, especially the top. The middle panel is a bit tricky. Just go through. Next, we'll fold all the folding. We'll fold all the tabs. So we will apply glue here, and we will glue them together like this. It, because it's curvy, it is a bit tricky to pull them together. Just Hold them together until the glue is dry. Meanwhile, adjust them along the way if necessary. See, I hold the top here, but the bottom bit slip out. Just push it back gently. Hold it till glue is dry. There's a bit too much glue here. I'm just gonna wipe it. Apply glue here and do the same. Use finger to hold it at the back. Now this piece is done, we will do the same to the other one. Fold the glue tabs backward. Apply glue here and here, glue together. Now we have those two pieces. We are going to glue them together. This part will be the trickiest bit in the whole project. So um, I prepared some masking tape here to help me to hold them together. So what we're gonna do is we'll apply glue here and here, glue one side together first. Then we'll do the same to the other side. Just take your time here, no rush. Here we go. I'm going to glue. It's a bit tricky for me to hold two plates at the same time. I'm going to try use the masking tape here to tap here together. Then I'm going to use my finger to, to hold it. Go. 
Now we're using our masking tape to tape the top together. Make sure align well before you tap it. And I'm gonna use finger push from inside to align the middle section. So I'm going to slowly peel off the masking tape. Gently, we don't want to peel off, damage any of the car stock. Now the last bit. So apply glue first. Again, take your time here. together first. I'm gonna wipe up the glue here and put masking tape on. I don't want to have glue in between in case the masking tape stick on permanently. So I'll stick here and I'll use my finger to adjust from inside make sure the light align properly. Check for inside all the tabs glue on. Alright, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna take take up the masking tape. Slowly. Oops, I can see the yellow come up a little bit. I'm just gonna be extra careful here now. You can see the yellow come up a bit there, might be glue there. No, I didn't wipe it properly. For the top here, we are going to glue this little dot here on the top. Right in the middle. Put the circle here right in the middle to cover that little hole. Push down. Flip over and push on a flat surface if necessary. Just make sure it's right in the middle. Looks good. Next, we're going to put the brim on. We have this brim piece. You can see they are folding light. Fold them upward toward you. Upward, upward. Find the back. Here's the back and make sure the back is facing the back. So here's the back and this one will be the front panel. The front panel will match this one. What we are going to do, we are going to glue here and glue the cap on like this. Double check, we have the front panel, right? So here's the back, front, yeah. So glue it down. Push front inside, use finger to push front inside. Flip it over and stick it on. Might be easier. Give it a good press by inside. Mm 
Now we'll have the last piece. That's a bring decorative panel for the cap. Here the hexagon, the bottom hexagon should match here properly. All we need to do is just apply glue and stick on. Next, we are going to glue the baseball logo on. Now, grab the box. The, the cap is a slightly bigger than the box, so it should be easy to fit it on. If you turn it over, you can see it's actually bigger, so it should be able to open and close comfortably. To open and hold the brim of the base and just lift it up like this. This project is a great gift idea for sports fans. Put their own team logos on the cap to customize. We have made another fun project together. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching.